This is just a short instruction on how to operate and set the timer T2302, which is a 12 volts timer with relay on the output. And on the back of it, we have four terminals. And this is the ground, that's the positive 12 volts. These two terminals are not connected to anything on the circuit. They're only outputs from the relay, so they act like a switch. So there's no electricity, it's only a switch. You have to connect your own electricity to these two. Now on this side there is an LED, and this LED will indicate whether the relay is on and off. So that's the red LED here, and that's the set button, and that's up and down. The two rows of digits, different color, they indicate time T1 and time T2. We can test now all the different options. So first of all, we can set the range in seconds, minutes or hours. 999 hours will give you about 41 days. So this is a very long time. And hours would be useful in settings where you need to have automated watering or feeding of uh, pets or animals or any other application that requires longer time. Now we have the different six modes. First of all, the uh, connecting of the 12 DC will start the timer. So the first option will be that after the T1 time relay goes on. The second option is the reverse. The relay will go off after T1 time. Then we have following option relay on after T1, off after T2, which is the bottom line on the display and then the cycle stops. And we have the same but the reverse, the relay will go off after T1, on after T2 time, and the cycle stops. And then we have the same options, but the cycles will repeat. So let's just quickly set it up and see how this is done. So first of all, we know that a quick a click will allow us to set set the times. I'm going to set it to two seconds, T1 time, and let's go to the T2 time. So I'm going to leave it on three seconds, and that way, uh, leave it for five seconds now to save it, the setting. Okay. Now we have the options here, P10, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, so right now we have the option P10, which means the relay will go on after T1 time. So when I disconnect the power, connect it, we have the T1 time goes off and the relay will be on after that time. Uh, let's set it to the second option. So I'm going to hold it for five seconds. Now this is the time range, so I click it again. We have P1 and then I'm going to go to and uh, set it P11, okay? And wait five seconds for the, here you go. So now when I disconnect the power, reconnect it, the relay will go on for two seconds and then off, and it stops. Now let's go to next option. So relay on after T1, off after T2. So I hit it again for five seconds. Now click to go, okay, so it's P12, and P12 will be relay on and then off. Okay, let's just disconnect the power and try it again. So we have three seconds on after two seconds delay. Now we have another option with the opposite. So let's just go on and then remember P0 is the seconds or minutes or hours, so we go to the next. So P13 is uh, what we are interested in. I will leave it for five seconds. Now we have on and then off for three seconds and on again. It will stay on. Now let's disconnect it. Test it again. On, now it goes off. 
and on again. And we have the same two settings, but the cycles will be repeat. So let's go to the next one, P14. So I'm going to hold it for five seconds. Click it one more time and then go one up. So we have P14. And now the cycle is repeated. So we have two seconds off, three seconds on, then off, then on, then off. And we can set it also with the opposite. So we can have the T a one time off and T two time will be off. And we remember the, the T one time is the top line here, the red, and T two is the green one. I'm going to set it back to the first option. So P10. So this is it. It's a very universal timer. It's very practical. And uh, good luck. At the end of the video I'm going to post the instruction and you may set your video to highest resolution, make it full screen and then hit the print button on your keyboard and you can save the picture of it. Give it thumbs up if you like it, if you find it useful. Give it thumbs up so the algorithm will uh, promote the video.